There are only 69 registered farriers in Ireland, and as they retire one by one, their craft goes with them. Holly Grennan's father and seven uncles were blacksmith. He's the last in a the line. There's not many farriers around here. There's only one more in County Longford and one in County West Bay. It's dying now because the young people that learned it, the more give it up. Tell me, would it be hard to get blacksmiths when Holly's finished? It would be impossible to get a blacksmith. You never tra travel the Linton Breath of Ireland to get a blacksmith after when he retires. I've been coming home for the last 13 years. The shoe has to be right to drive the nails in the right place. The shoe has to be hit right. You drive the nails be sound. By sound? Yeah. There's an inside and an outside. In. To hear the sound, that's going right. So you drive away. The tractor took over from the horse. That was in 1960. And it was very, there was nothing left in any hunting horses. So, um, at the turn, your hand to different jobs, you know, that's making car trailers or something like that. But the horse came back? The horse came back then, around the time that Dana won the Eurovision contest. From that on, they came back. And now, they've got very plentiful. But ironically, the return of the horse is being marked by the demise of the traditional farrier in County Longford. And as Holly Grennan closes his forge, he closes it in the belief that nobody will be taking over from him.